This is an exercise we've just put in the school today to practice a little bit of cross country jumping in your arena at home. We have put two verticals here in the middle which will be on an angle and that walks a two stride distance between the two. So that is 12 yards, 12 decent steps of yours walking. Over the other side of the arena, we've put the oxer and put a water tray underneath it. Obviously, it depends on the level of your horse as to um, whether they're happy going straight to a tray with a fence over it. If they're babies, you'd need to just not have it as a fence and just start them with a tray on their own. Basically, I've laid this out here today. And if it was me with this exercise in the arena at home, I would to start with break it up and just go and jump each fence individually just to get the horse warmed up and used to each fence before I put the three all together. This exercise can be quite tricky and for some horses in cold blood if they're spooky or not used to jumping tricky things in their arena at home it can be more difficult than say it would be if your adrenaline is up and you're out on the cross country course. So to me it's important that I would give the horse a chance to just assess what is going on. Once you've jumped them all individually I would then go and just jump the two on the angle by themselves and then I would come round and do my oxer first which then walks a nice curving six strides to the two angled. I'll have a go. Now we can make the exercise a little bit harder by putting a light jump wing halfway. We're using that as a flagpole in the jump to just try and make it now a bit more of an accuracy question of jumping through the two more to the point of where you want to go. It might take them a little while to figure out that a jump wing is in the middle. So I would always, when you just start it, jump just one of them on its own, getting between the gap so that they understand what the question is. And then once you've done that, go around and just do the two on their own. And then you can go and string all three together. And gradually you can make the gap a little bit smaller if you want to, depending on the level of your horse. 